I'm here to share more about how we're actually changing and rewiring product, the product development process and create this customer experience or customer-led uh, experience to product development is our executive vice president of product development and our chief technology officer, Raj Nair. Raj is a great partner. Uh, he's going to join us a little later. Uh, who's been helping us do this rewiring. And it's Christian Modsbyar, and he's the founder of Red Associates. So with that, I'll bring up Raj. Thanks, Mark. Well, great to be here today, and uh, thanks for coming. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to talk about a real shift in how we're doing business and product development. And that's putting users first, as Mark mentioned. And we've learned a lot from other industries and disciplines in this, how to deliver experiences instead of just rolling the sheet metal. So for us, the whole product development equation has really fundamentally changed. Now it's more than just moving from point A to point B. Our job is really about helping people travel from the beginning to the end of their journey. And as Mark said, making available a variety of mobility solutions for people. So now we're redefining the experiences our vehicles deliver to the customers and users. Actually, much of the technology we're talking about that's going to redefine our industry is all, already available today. So the challenge going forward really isn't about who provides the most technology, but who best organizes that technology in a way that excites and delights people. But the other question is, how are we sure these are the experiences that they really want? And again, we're going to learn a lot from other companies, whether they're tech companies, consumer product firms, leaders in the gaming and consumer entertainment experiences. All of these have learned how to create the best, most meaningful experiences for their customers. So that's why in addition to the traditional market research that we've done, we're investing in social science-based research, observing how consumers interact with their vehicles, using new input from anthropologists, from sociologists, economists, designers, even journalists, gaining new insight. Are there any journalists here? That was, I, I was told I was speaking to journalists. Um, gaining new insight into the cognitive, social, cultural, technological, even economic nuances that can affect product design going forward. So ultimately, it's about us reimagining the product development process to create new experiences that make life better for millions of people. And that new way of working brings together more than ever before our colleagues in marketing, in research, engineering, design, in a new way to create these meaningful user experiences. And to be honest, that's a big shift from the past of how we've operated as a product development team, how we've operated as an automotive industry. Our, our, our history has been different teams bringing individual technologies or systems, those ideas that then had to be integrated into our final product. This new way of approaching it will really change how people experience their daily drive with those technologies. And our team of social scientists has already spent months exploring topics such as the future of luxury transport, how people form relationships with their cars, the role of trucks in the American heartland. So we're pleased to announce today that Ford will be doubling the number of projects that use ethnographic research next year. Now, Red, Red Associates, that Mark mentioned, has already been innovating with many consumer goods and pharmaceutical companies for a decade, and we've actually been working with them since 2012. 